All Bladebridge configurations are funded by partners on behalf of end user projects and are not an endorsement by Bladebridge or its team members. Hello and welcome to the presentation of Bladebridge Converter. In today's session, I'll demonstrate how to convert Informatica Power Center jobs into AWS Glue. Uh, I'm going to take a sample Informatica mapping. It looks like this. Um, even though it looks relatively simple, it has several types of components such as source qualifier, um, expression transformation, a lookup, a filter, aggregator, and a couple of targets. And I'm going to run the converter and generate uh, AWS Glue metadata, which I will then export, uh, import into AWS Glue using our command line utility. Now, prior to uh, running the converter, one step that I need to do is export the metadata of the Informatica job into the XML format. I can use PMCMD or PMREP command, or I can use the GUI and export at the workflow level, including all the dependencies, preferably from uh, Power Center Repository Manager. So the idea is that I'll get file represented uh, in this format, and um, the converter will read this metadata and will convert it into glue of a glue compliant format. Uh, our con converters run from command line, so in order to run the converter, all I need to do is provide the executable name and the, uh, the arguments. So my uh, command line looks like this. This is the name of the converter. I'm providing the license key file, providing the input XML file name, which is this one at the top. Sorry, right here. And I will also provide the output path, which now should be empty, so there is nothing in here. And I'll provide the name of the configuration file. So as an FYI, uh, all of our uh, converters rely on externalized config files, and in a config file, you as the user can specify some of the output patterns that the converter will use to produce the resulting code. So I'm going to go ahead and run the converter. It will take a few seconds. All right, so the file got generated. This file is uh, AWS Glue compatible file. So the next step I want to do is import this file into AWS Glue. If I go into AWS Glue, there are no jobs in here right now. So I'm going to be doing a brand new import. This is my command line. So basically, I'm using our own interface that's under the hood, um, uses AWS command line uh, to create the job. All right, that will take a few seconds. All right, so if I get this return, that means that the job was imported successfully. So if I refresh this, I see my job. So now I can go ahead and open up this job. And now we get representation of the original Informatica job implemented as AWS Glue. Uh, let me walk you through some of the uh, transformations that took place during the conversion. So this is our original source. What the converter will do, it will allow you in the config file to map your Informatica connections to uh, AWS Glue connections, so the, the names of the connections will be picked uh, correctly. Uh, the converter will plug in the query. Now, this query can be converted to, let's say, Redshift or any other platform that you might want to use with your Glue implementation. So not only will it convert the Informatica to, to Glue code, but also will convert the underlying SQL into uh, your target uh, database of choice. Now, every transformation got, uh, gets converted to the equivalent functionality. So the filters get converted to this format uh, the converter will actually pick um, whether um, 
a particular component is compatible with the native functionality of a mapped component in Glue. And if not, it will default to utilizing SQL query. Uh, so for the, for the most of the nodes, that's what the converter did. But uh, that, that um, setting is configurable as well. So if you want to force the converter to do something or to use more of native nodes, that's possible to do as well. Uh, my transforms got converted to what um, what, what uh, Spark SQL understands. So, for example, in my original implementation, I had a function called date underscore diff with this function signature. But uh, the converter converted that to date diff with two arguments. And again, this is compatible with the um, underlying platform. My lookups got implemented um, in this manner. So basically, the converter will um, uh, we'll, we'll check whether lookups are set to retrieve the first value or last value or arbitrarily pick any value from the lookup set and we'll adjust the SQL using, using ranking logic. Uh, before inserting the data, the converter will generate what we call conforming nodes. So this is necessary to align the column set from the incoming nodes into the column set that is required by the target uh, tar target object, and uh, and and then that will guarantee a smooth insert or an update operation uh, of the target. Okay, so basically, just to recap, the converter took the Informatica metadata presented in the XML file. Um, I ran the command line to convert the code. And then I ran the command line to import the converted code into AWS. And this is the job that we're seeing. Now, really quickly, um, as far as the config files are concerned, uh, within the config files, I have certain options. So a lot of our uh, converters, not only the glue convert, but all of our converters rely on externalized config files. So for example, in Informatic, we typically, not typically, it's, it's always like this, we, we always have um, folders, and within folders, we have mapping sessions and workflows. In Glue, um, we don't have folders, so you can tell the converter how to generate the name of the mapping, so or the name of the Glue job. So this is the default pattern. You can adjust that in case you want to create a prefix or suffix. You can do that. Um, for some target databases with Glue, you need to uh, up case the column names before doing the insert. So there's the setting available here. Um, you can also tell the converter how to map connections. So if you have dozens of connections in Informatica, you might want to consolidate them. And you can tell the converter how, how exactly you want um, that uh, mapping of uh, connection profiles to take place. So another thing I can tell the converter is how to convert ETL code. So we have expressions in Informatica, but within this file, info to, uh, I'm using Databricks because the syntax for, um, uh, for uh, Spark SQL is you know, very similar to, to Databricks anyway. So I can tell the converter how to process certain function calls. So for example, add to date gets converted to date add with this argument pattern, or date diff with three arguments uh, or where, where the third argument is, is a D gets converted to this. Date, arg, uh, date diff with, where the third argument is MM gets converted to months between and so on. So there's a lot of flexibility embedded into the converter on how to process expressions uh, within the source ETL tool and translate them into, uh, into glue-friendly syntax. So that concludes the presentation of the converter functionality. Just to recap, I took Informatica Power Center job, converted that into a Glue, imported that using our command line utility, and we have an exact replica of functionality uh, that we had in the original Informatica code, but now represented in Glue Studio. Thank you.